Good morning everybody. It is Thursday. I've got Evie here on the bed with me. I haven't vlogged I think in about a week because I've been back at school and it's been just basically like back to a working hours, a working day um, where I just, you know, I, I'm quite tired when I get home and I don't really feel like vlogging and even in the weekends like if I'm out five days a week then I have more that I need to get done in the weekends which means I just can't bother vlogging. But today I have a day off, not technically, it's a like a working day back at home. I do need to zoom my class later today and just like you know check my emails through the day but that's pretty much it. Basically I ended up in a bubble at school with another teacher and like a slightly bigger bubble because we joined together. So she had yesterday off um, and I just took the bubble for the whole day and I'm having today off and she's taking the bubble for the day. And I think we're going to do the same thing um, for the next couple of days. So I'll take the bubble again tomorrow, she'll have the day off and then she's going to take the bubble Monday and I will have that day off. Which suits me great because I don't actually mind not having a break from the kids during the day. Especially when there's only eight kids in the bubble. I just eat my lunch with them. So here I am with basically a free day and I wasn't going to vlog today but I have a few couple of like exciting little things happening. I have a little art project that I want to do. I was actually going to do a whole vlog just on that um, and I still might. If I don't get time for it today, I'll put it in a separate vlog. Oh, no, it sounds in my eyes there. Okay, I'm gonna keep standing. But if I can fit it in today's vlog, then we'll do it. It's basically like an autumn leaf wreath. I did it with my school bubble earlier this week, and I thought I was gonna be able to make one along with them, but it was way too hands-on. They needed so much help. There's a lot of, like, really little young kids in my bubble, so they needed a lot of help and I didn't get a chance to make one and I really wanted to make one so I brought the stuff home and I'm going to make one either today or next time we vlog. I'm also picking up my new vacuum cleaner today which sounds so boring, I know, like a vacuum cleaner, but it's cordless, it's a stick vacuum, it's like one of those battery operated charging ones and I'm so excited. I literally haven't vacuumed my house in the longest time because the vacuum cleaner that we have, we have two actually, we have two vacuum cleaners here and they're both shit. They're so hard to use and I've just been putting it off and off and off. We have been planning on getting a stick vacuum cleaner and last night I wrote down my to-do list for today and I had vacuuming on there. I was like, I just need to do it because it's been so long. Literally when you saw me vacuum the kitchen is the last time I got the vacuum cleaner out and it was only for the kitchen. I didn't vacuum any other room. Um, I don't think I've vacuumed anything since before lockdown started. Don't judge me. I know, it's really bad. But it's just because the vacuums are so hard to use. Like, I want to be vacuuming, I want to be cleaning the floors and stuff, but the vacuum cleaners are just a nightmare. Last night, I was just like looking at vacuum cleaners, and Jonathan was hel helping me have a little look, and we just decided on one, and we were like, well, Let's just buy it. Like I'm literally, neither of us are going to pull out the vacuum cleaner while it's one that we hate. So we just ordered it last night. I got the email this morning to say it's ready to be picked up. So we'll go and get that together later in the day. I would go right now except I've got a Zoom meeting in like half an hour and I can't get there and back in time. But yes, we will go and pick it up after my Zoom meeting and then we'll give it a little test run. Oh, I might have to charge it first. I'm sure we'll get to a test run at some point today.
can collect from Harvey Norman. It was actually really simple. There's like three different car parks and I was really worried they wouldn't find my car because the website said they would bring it to my car. And I was like, but how are you going to find it? Um, but they did. And there it is. So let's get it home and let's show Jonathan. my birthday in the weekend. I got some kitchen scales, some electronic ones. There's a little screwdriver. <laughs> yeah. What's the little screwdriver for? Oh, It's so sleek and small and light. Yep. Like wow, it's so light. Cool. Thank you. Oh, because it needs batteries. I have also been given by Jonathan um, a yogurt machine, which is black, um, and then some jars to put my yogurt in, and some little packs. So this one is a mixed berry pack, and then there's a raspberry pack, and I'm very, I'm intrigued, because I don't know what goes into making yogurt, um, but I guess I shall find out. Okay, so what's in there? This is the jar. That That's the jar. It does look a bit like an ice cream maker because um, Jackie has an ice cream maker and it kind of has all these bits to it. Are these my instructions? Yeah. This is a cool box. I like that. Anyway, so these are my little sachets. And apparently each sachet makes a kilogram of yogurt. So that is, that's a lot of yogurt. I guess that's why there's a lot of containers. Mm. <laughs> awesome. Oh, thank you. Right. I was not um, anticipating getting birthday presents in this vlog. I totally didn't realize I would be here today when I started this, but good timing. Um, we are going to have a go at making a thing of yogurt. So we start with half a container of water and then we duff the, the sachet in just like that. Oh no, you can see my dirty dishes. No. All of it, yeah? That smells good. Yeah, all of it. Oh gosh, that's a lot. That's a lot! Wow, I really didn't expect it to be that that much. Hang on, there's more here. Close the lid and shake well. Now I add more water up to five mils from the top, don't I? Is there a mark for that? Does it say no. five millimeters from the top, right? I think right? so. Yeah. Same temperature water, just, Check again. Yep. just warm. Right, so in here, we now put boiling water until that is covered, yep. which is almost ready. The bottom of the spacer or all the way up to the sides? I imagine the whole spacer. Okay. Yep. yep. And then the yogurt goes in. Oh, perfect. Nope, that's not That's it. not the lid. <laughs> Beautiful. And then shake well. No. No, so that now sits for eight hours, right? I don't like that. The front what? of the logo is here and this is just on a weird uh, an angle. I guess it's on a 45. So yeah, that sits. That sits for eight hours and then um, the just the little container bit goes in the fridge until it sets, which we have no idea how long that part will take, but we'll just leave it overnight. Well, that's just the chill. Yeah. So you could. You oh, could, so you, you could, could eat it warm. Yeah. Ah, oh, sweet. That sounds. That'd be interesting. Warm yogurt. Anyway. So that's cool. <laughs> We've basically got no space on our kitchen bench. This is my old kitchen scale, which old, is old, like. It was. It's broken somewhere, isn't it? I'm sure it's broken. Oh yeah, it's broken on the side there. Um, and it's also just a little bit unreliable. And it's also very big and thick. And in here, now, that's my new little scale. It takes up so much less space. Okay, are you ready to open this vacuum cleaner? Yep. Okay. <laughs> it 
it's so little. <laughs> okay. Is that? And there's your charging adapter there. Oh yeah. But I'm assuming this should be pretty easy to figure out. Oh, it's so sleek. It's like me. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's your. Oh, is that the? Wait, show me. And then what? How do you empty it? Do you just tip it upside down? I don't know. I only just got this. <laughs> Oh, that's the handle for it. Whoa, was that an airplane going past? Yeah. That made the shadow, yep. Yeah. Cool. That's nice. Does this go straight on? Yep. It does. Yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> what? It has battery! How is it to use? It's, it's very like, it's quite easy to turn. Yeah. See? Cool. Literally, you saw me vacuum then for all of 20 seconds at the most. It has collected so much dust. Oh, I'm so happy with this vacuum cleaner. I'm gonna go vacuum the house now. I won't film the whole thing because that would bore you to death, but I'm so very happy and ready to clean up my house. <laughs> I've just popped it on charge. It didn't actually die, but um, it was on one bar, which obviously normally when you buy stuff, it doesn't have full charge. So I've just popped it here for now. I did empty it. It was very, very full. I managed to do all of upstairs and some of downstairs. Yeah, I'm just gonna let it charge for a bit and then I will get to the rest of the house. As you can see, it does stand up on its own, which is great. I got a Bosch, by the way. I don't know if I said the brand before. We were thinking about like a Shark or a Dyson because I know those are the really popular brands, but this one is so much cheaper and it looked like it was gonna be about the same quality. So you just choose your power setting. It decides what type of floor you're vacuuming on, so it's really easy to just like go between carpet and tiles or wood or whatever's in your house. Here's the battery charging, obviously. This bit just pops out so you can empty it. I, it probably won't live here. I don't think this is the best spot for it, but I just wanted to just give it a quick charge. I am coming for you, Mr. Spider. I know you've been happily living here for the last few weeks. And you. And you. All right, I just filmed a video. I was filming my autumn lookbook. By the way, if um, if my lips are like not moving like they're meant to, if I look a little bit wonky, it's because I have two really big ulcers on my lip here, and they're actually really painful. Like I've never had ulcers this painful before, and there's two like right next to each other, and every time I talk or move my mouth, um, it rubs against my teeth and it really hurts. So I think I am talking a little bit wonky. I'm like trying to keep this part of my mouth really still. Video is filmed, hence I'm wearing a full face of makeup right now. Yeah, I'm gonna see if the vacuum cleaner's finished charging. It hasn't. Um, I think it said it was like four to six hours to full charge. I don't know what time I put it on. I'm sure there's actually enough charge in there to do the rest of the house. I think I'm gonna just like tidy up downstairs a little bit in my filming room, put things away. And once I'm ready, we're going to do a bit more vacuuming. Actually, this will be a pretty good test because she's happily on the chair here. She's fast asleep right now, as you can see. Um, I think the vacuum cleaner is pretty quiet, but I'll be interested to know if she is still worried about it because obviously, you know, she, like most cats and I'm sure most animals, hates the vacuum cleaner. Like literally will not be in the house if the vacuum cleaner is going. 
So I will be interested to see if this one's quiet enough to not disturb her or if she will still just run straight out the door. She's still there. Oh. I think she is aware that it's potentially something scary. Good girl. Yeah, she's so brave. She didn't run away and you made it like almost right up to her. Oh, <laughs> oh no, little one. <laughs> It was pretty good though. Maybe it's okay. It's not too scary. I vacuumed the house. I don't think I've ever vacuumed this whole house in one go. It's just like, there's too many rooms, there's too many floors, I can never be bothered. Happy with my new little vacuum cleaner? I think I'm gonna pop it back on charge. Um, no, I'm not. Because I don't know if it will hold a charge um, for, you know, a couple of weeks at a time. So. I'm just gonna leave it there because it's not out of battery and next time I want to use it I'll charge it up before I need it. Anyway, it is only four o'clock and I've done the vacuuming, I've done my zoom, I've done the work that I need to do today so I now actually do have time to do that little art project. So I've got my little basket, I'm gonna go outside, actually I'm gonna go out the other door because it's closer to the leaves. We're gonna get some beautiful autumn leaves to work with. I literally raked all of these up less than a week ago. Look at them all. school we've got these beautiful maple leaves with like lots of different colors but unfortunately I've just realized these aren't maple leaves and they're all this one same color so it's gonna be a singular colored leaf wreath but um, I'll try it anyway and we'll see if it looks any good if not I might bring home some leaves from school I think I would definitely prefer it with beautiful different colored maple leaves but I think I will still put this up somewhere the question now is where it could go here which is like where I've just been working in the kitchen also where this picture is that could be another option I think it would look quite cool there as well oh we moved this mirror the other day by the way 
I quite like it for um, little outfit photos. I think I'm gonna try it here. See what it, see how it looks. That's kind of cool. And it is, it is actually quite nice and autumnal on the wall there. It doesn't matter too much that it's just brown. It looks kind of nice and neutral and also ties in quite well with the wood on either side. So actually I'm pretty happy with that. It has been eight hours. We're gonna open it up, check our yogurt. Let's give it a stir okay. and then see if it's edible or if it really does need to be cooled down first. Does it feel warm? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's pretty liquidy at the bottom. All right, I think it needs to go to, in the fridge overnight, probably. Yep. Well, they said it needs to go, it needs to set, you know? Yeah. Looks like it'll be good though. Yeah. Ooh, that is nice. Yeah. Yep. Have that for breakfast. Anyway, I'm going to leave the vlog here. Um, I tried my best not to show you any meals because I find that that gets really boring after a while and it's normally all I talk about in my vlogs. Um, yeah, so I'll catch you guys later.